welcome to paper number 12, Research Consultancy and Advisory. We are looking at uh, topic five, Introduction to Advisory and Consultancy. And we are concentrating on subtopic 5.3, the consulting industry. I am your lecturer, Professor Evans Vidija Sagwa from Manifested Publishers. Welcome to the lesson. In our lesson today, 5.3, we are looking at the consulting industry and specifically, we are going to focus on a historical perspective, the current consulting scene, range of services provided, generalist and specialist services, main types of consulting organization, internal consultants, and management consulting and other professions. In the subtopic, a historical perspective, it should be noted that the consulting industry has a rich history dating back to the early 20th century. And the historical perspective of the consulting industry can be looked at from four phases, starting with the early beginnings, the 1900s, growth of the consulting industry, growth of the consulting industry and expansion, 1950s to 1970s, maturation and diversification of the consulting industry, 1980s through to 2000s, and the modern era, which is the 21st century of the consulting industry. So we can have a look at the early beginnings in relation to the 1900s. And uh, during this perspective, during this phase of the early beginnings, there was the emergence of accounting firms. And accounting firms <clears throat> include firms like Pricewaterhouse, Coopers, PwC, and Ernest and Young, EY, which started offering consulting services as an extension of their core auditing and tax services. They were also specialized consulting firms. These were smaller firms specialized in consulting as consulting firms. They emerged to address specific needs such as management consulting, and engineering consulting. So these uh, provided the early beginnings of the consulting history in the 1900s. Come the growth and expansion stage in the 1950s to 1970s, this was the post-war economic boom. When the World War II economic boom uh, created a demand for consulting services to help businesses grow and improve their efficiency after the World War II. During this phase, there was the rise of management consulting and management consulting firms like McKinsey and Company, Bain and Company gained prominence, focusing on strategic planning organizational development and operational improvement. During this growth and expansion phase of the 1950s to 1970s, globalization and international expansion also took place and consulting firms began to expand their operations globally in order to serve multinational clients. In the third phase, which is referred to as the maturation and diversification, which is spanning between 1980s to 2000s. 
during this stage or phase of uh, consulting, the consulting industry, technological advancements were experienced and the advent of computers and information technology led to the emergence of technology consulting firms and the integration of technology into consulting services. There was also increased specialization where consulting firms became more specialized, offering services in areas like human resources, marketing, finance, and supply chain management. There was also during this phase an increase in what is referred to as boutique consulting firms. These are smaller boutique consulting firms which focused on the niche areas and provided highly specialized services. We continue to look at the historical perspective of the consulting industry and move to the modern era, which is uh, the 21st century. And during this modern era, uh, the four things are observed. The issue of digital transformation, global economic challenges, sustainability and corporate social responsibility, and rise of consulting platforms. In relation to digital transformation, the digital revolution has fundamentally changed the way businesses operate and consultants are helping organizations to navigate digital transformation and leverage emerging technologies. Like in the current age, we have aspects like AI, artificial intelligence, and this is uh, really uh, transforming how communication and interactions take place. There have also been global economic challenges, economic downturns, and political and geopolitical events have created new challenges and opportunities mm -hmm. for consulting firms. There is also the aspect of sustainability and corporate social responsibility where firms are increasingly focusing on sustainability and corporate social responsibility, which has led to new consulting services in these areas. And also being experienced in the 21st century, there is the rise of consulting platforms where online platforms and marketplaces have made it easier for clients to connect with consultants and access a wide range of services. So dear Lana, these are the stages through which the consulting industry has gone through and we have looked at them from early beginnings, the 1900s, where we have observed that there was the emergence of accounting firms. There is also the aspect of specialized consulting and these uh, emerging accounting firms uh, included firms like PricewaterhouseCoopers, PwC, and, and Ernest and & Young, EY. In the next phase that we have looked at, in terms of the growth and expansion of the co consulting industry in the 1950s to 1970s, this uh, was a stage that uh, uh, had uh, aspects like the post-war economic boom, rise of management consulting and globalization and international expansion where we have seen management firms like McKinsey and company, Bain and company gaining prominence during that particular stage. In the stage of maturation and diversification that spanned around 1980s and 2000s, there, we have noticed that there was technological advancements and increased specialization in addition to boutique consulting, where smaller boutique firms uh, focused on niche areas and provided highly specialized expertise. And in the modern era in which we are in, in the 21st century, there was, there is the aspect of digital transformation economic 
global challenges, sustainability and CSR, and the rise of consulting platforms where online, online opportunities have been made available, online platforms and marketplaces have made it easier for clients to connect with the consultants from anywhere in the globe and access wider range of services in this aspect of digitalization. So dear Lana, those are the, the faces through which the historical perspective of the consulting industry can be looked at. Thank <music> you.